The race for the FedEx Cup sizzles in the Valley of the Sun. Welcome to the latest edition of PGA Tour Today. Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Eight of the top ten players in the early season FedEx Cup standings converge on TPC Scottsdale for this week's Waste Management Phoenix Open. This guy right here, number two on the list, Farmers Insurance Open champion Bubba Watson, who birdied the final hole at Torrey Pines for his second victory in 12 starts, dating back to last year. Bubba plays with that other left-hander the first two rounds. Phil Mickelson, runner-up to Watson last week. Seeing it up for the 22nd time in Scottsdale, the former Arizona State Sun Devil is a rock star there with two victories. Bill Haas, fifth in FedEx Cup points, rounds out that group. They're off at 10.07 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. Now Haas is part of a new breed of young stars who posted multiple victories a season ago. Two others are grouped together the first two rounds. Defending champion Hunter Mayhem went bogey free over the final 36 in Scottsdale last year to hold off Ricky Fowler by a shot. Mahan finished tied for sixth last week in San Diego, where Dustin Johnson was tied for third, his second top 10 in two starts this year. DJ and Mahan, two of five players in their 20s with three or more tour victories. They're part of Thursday's featured group along with Jeff Ogilvy, now fully recovered from the hand injury he sustained on the beach in Maui. Look for them in Golf Channel's opening round television coverage from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern. Red Hot rookie Jonathan Vegas also won to watch this week, third at Torrey Pines following his win at the Bob Hope Classic. The Venezuelan is the first rookie ever to lead the FedEx Cup standings. Vegas plays with fellow Latin American stars Camilo Villegas and Angel Cabrera the first two rounds in front of some of the largest crowds of the tour season in excess of 200,000 over four days. And the epicenter of all the madness is the electrifying par 316. This week's Kodak Challenge hole is simply unlike any other on tour. You've got to see it and hear it to believe it. Now in its second year as title sponsor, Waste Management is increasing its use of green technologies throughout the week with a goal of recycling 65% of the waste collected at the event. Now, waste management will have food composting, solar-powered compactors, and automated recycling kiosks at the tournament, which, by the way, is powered by 100% renewable sources. Always doing his part, Brian Katrick from the PGA Tour Network. He's in Scottsdale for us this week. Swanee, neither rain nor snow nor dark of night can keep the Phoenix Open from getting underway here. Even the waste management folks had to be freezing just a little bit on Wednesday when the temperatures were only in the upper 30s. Pro-Am canceled. Here's the problem as we're looking forward to the opening round on Thursday, which will almost certainly be delayed. The greens. We've all heard about frost delays, but it wasn't just frost on the greens. They were actually frozen. Golf balls weren't making pitch marks. They were actually bouncing about head high. They've only just now thawed out. So what we're looking at are cold temperatures again in the morning. Things will get warm by the end of the week. Although the first round is almost certainly going to be delayed because of either frost or just flat out frozen greens. You can hear opening round coverage starting at 1 p.m. Eastern on the PGA Tour Network, Swanee. All right, thank you, Brian. In addition to Sirius XM coverage, Golf Channel has the opening round of the Waste Management Phoenix Open beginning at 4 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. And for live scoring and exclusive video, log on to PGATour.com.